You that are Bible readers know that in the book of Psalms, the scriptures warn us, every nation that forgets God will be turned into hell. There are different forms of hell other than the lake of fire. You could have called it hell back during the Holocaust. There are many things that are happening in our nation today that give every Christian a reason to be concerned. I've written a book that I titled, Should I Speak in Tongues? I'm going to read on the back side of this book what I wrote, and then I want to express to you a few things that are in this book. The purpose and the call for this book is because of the major concern in the hearts of Christians throughout America over the direction that our country is now headed, I'm reminded of the prophet Joel when he cried out to the people at the time of severe threat to the nation of Israel and said, let the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O God, and give not thy heritage to reproach, that the heathen, the non-believers, the non-Christian, should not rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? I wrote this book out of a passion to see things develop and change in this nation knowing that through prayer we can see it happen. But a thing that has concerned me is the question that I've encountered in quite a number of people during this period about how to pray. What do I say to God about the leadership of our nation? If you're a Bible reader, you know that God says, I will bless them that bless me. I will honor them that honor me. And those who dishonor me will be lightly esteemed. So how do I pray according to the will of God? If I pray for God to bless somebody that is not in position, I'm wasting my breath. If I pray to God to give wisdom to someone, who doesn't have the foundation of wisdom, which is the beginning of wisdom, is the fear of God. When you don't see that in persons, especially when you don't see it in, in leadership, you wonder what do I say when I pray to God over these individuals? Well, it's never wrong for us to pray for God to save them. But... Uh, we know how God dealt with Pharaoh, and he always hardened his heart at every inroad that God offered to him through Moses. Some people are not going to listen. We don't know who they are. But there's one thing I do know. God did something very special through Jesus Christ when he gave us the gift of speaking in tongues. If you stop to think about it, there is no other religion on earth or spiritual entity that even approaches to offer a special language with which a believer can pray and talk to God that cannot be intercepted by the devil. He can't understand it. There's nothing he can do about it or with it. When a person prays, in an unknown tongue, the Bible says he prays the will of God concerning us. So whatever is in your heart, whatever your concerns are, this book shows you how to reach out to God through the gift of speaking in other tongues. When you speak in other tongues, you cannot pray for, nor ask God, nor say, the wrong thing into the ears of God. God said, bring words and come to me. So when we don't know how to word things in the ears of God, 
because of our lack of complete knowledge about what His will is on a matter, then we can pray in tongues. I hope you get a copy of this book. I tell of four definite miracles that happened to me, some financial and some physical, while I was praying in tongues. An interruption from God with a miracle while I was praying in tongues. I hope you get it. I'm offering it to you now. I've sent it free to a lot of ministers and pastors. I want to get this message out, so I'll make it available to you now through Gerald Davis Ministries. Thank you for your order. I want to mention to you that I have listed in one chapter in this book 15 benefits that I have personally observed, some I learned from the scriptures, and some after 58 years of ministry and using this wonderful gift of God that have brought the changes in my life that have brought me into the lifestyle that I now do enjoy in the Lord. You can have what you want from God, pray in tongues, and watch and see.